All right, Ryan and Danny back from no review playthrough. And as you can guess, if you've watched any of our other videos of Betrayal, anytime Danny gets choice, we go with Betrayal. Uh, we kind of got burned out on our Dice Throne. We played almost a full week of Dice Throne, so taking a little break from Dice Throne for a little bit. We finished Scenario 1 and a boss. We're gonna take a little bit of a break because some of those videos we had to film, we did two or three games off camera until we kind of got it right or finished some of those. So we'll come back to that a little bit later, but let's do some betrayal then. Um, oh, I need, I need my dudes. Professor and Flash. Once again, the old guy is dragged into whatever these young kids are doing. Messing around exploring in a haunted abandoned houses. Yeah, exploring haunted houses. All right, so we'll split this video into two parts. We'll play up towards the haunt, and then we will cut it off. And then, if you guys want to watch the haunt, that'll avoid spoilers if you're interested from those. Um, and we play two characters each because this is technically a three-player game, so we control two characters each. And then when the hot happen happens, we take the one character who's the traitor and the other person plays the, they call them heroes? I can't even remember. Are they explorers. Called explorers, I think they're just called explorers, you're right. Yeah. All right, and then we go from there. And again, we are playing with the upgrade kits. We have uh, player cards that have dials on them and stuff moving around, and that's why we have two sets of dice from here, if you're curious. I'll leave the links in the below for those uh, from there. All right, so we start with birthdays. Who's the closest? Um, I've got June and July for my dudes. Hers just passed February 14th, wow. May 21st. All right, so he's up. Okay. Brandon. I think he's going to go all the way up to the upstairs. It's like, all right, he's going to leave us. Yeah. Okay. No. Got the library. Right. And once per game, if you end your turn here, gain one knowledge. Has an event. Which you probably will unless your event moves you. Yeah. Secret passage. Yep. Well, actually, I don't know if you have to take I, it. Yeah. Uh, a section of the wall slides away. Behind it, a moldy tunnel awaits. Put a secret passage token in this room and roll three dice and place the second. Any existing ground floor room. Well, it sucks because it's right next to the stairs. Yeah. Any ground floor room, might as well just put it in this foyer then or the entrance hall. Yeah. Um, you can move through it even if you don't have any movement left. Oh, really? It counts as moving one space. Right on. One to the other is one space. But yeah, you don't have to have any movement. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We haven't you used can't it. End your turn in the passage. Yeah, it's like, all right, you can't see me because I'm in between. Yeah, that was a lame time to get that, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, so it doesn't really matter who goes next after that, but we usually just go around. We do one left and one right for each of us. So I'll go with the professor who sometimes is Castiel in this version, but we'll go Professor for today. Uh, so I have four movement, which really doesn't make too much difference at the beginning of the game. Four, so I will... He somehow ends up losing like all of it and ends yeah. up moving really slow. All right, I'll just... He doesn't feel like moving a lot today. All right, ground floor to the organ room. And an event. The creepy puppet, you see one of those dolls that give you the willies. It jumps at you with a tiny spear. Ooh, I don't remember that. No. Player on your right rolls a might. It doesn't really matter, just you. Um, attack four for the creepy puppet. You defend against the attack as normal by rolling your might, which is three for me. You said four? Yeah. Puppet's pretty strong. Ooh. Four. Uh, if you take any damage from this... Attack the explorer with the spear gains two might, unless you have the spear. Okay, well, I just lost two in physical, so I'll take one off of might and one off of speed. 
That was a good start. Creepy puppet. Okay, go ahead. Missy. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go that way. Yeah, don't come in the organ. There's a creepy puppet in here. <laughs> the game room. Apparently it's too much for the professor to handle. Okay. I don't know what's going on with all my moving walls. Got the revolving wall. The wall spins to another place. Place the wall switch token on a wall without an exit in this room or corner of this room. If there isn't a room on the other side of the wall switch, draw room tiles until you find one, I guess. So I'll go right here. Yeah. Wow. Um, We're creating shortcuts where we don't need any shortcuts at all. And you put your explorer in that room. It's an during an explorer's turn at the explorer's in either room, he or she can attempt a knowledge roll to use the wall switch. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty pointless too. All right, flash. Uh, six, so. Let's go through the secret passage. So that's one, two to upstairs, the upper floor tile. And dead ends at the conservatory. Drip, drip, drip. A rhythmic sound that needles at your brain. Put the drip token in this room. Now we're getting all, using all the tokens. Okay. Um, each explorer rolls one fewer die on traits that roll in this room. That probably won't happen. No. All right. Okay. Brandon again. Uh, I'll go straight ahead that way into the bloody room with an item. The blood dagger. How convenient. Yep. Um, you roll three additional dice when making a might attack with this weapon. You do lose one speed. Can't use any other weapon while using it. Yeah, it's pretty tough, but it's pretty punishing. You can't steal or drop it. Okay. 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 Uh, I guess you can steal it, but oh. not trade. Okay. All right. All right, so back to the professor. So technically we have to use a thing to... Yeah, you have to roll... Roll something if we go through the... Yeah. All right, just kind of keep... All right, well, just kind of something. keep that on top over here then. Well, yeah, so I don't really need to do that, I guess. Uh... Let's just go across here. One, two. Um, ground floor. That's one of the ground floor. There. All right. They, wow. Yeah, we're moving. Here's the elevator. Jump into there. Two dice. Three. Move to the upper floor. Ah. All right. So now we're all on the upper floor. All right. Except for Missy. Got Missy down there on the bottom. Okay. Um, actually, I could still go. I didn't, I haven't drawn a card yet, so that would be one. We'll count that as two, three. Yeah, that's, that's number four. All right, the gallery. If you choose, you can choose to fall to the ballroom if it's in the house. If you do take one damage, well, I don't choose to fall. I so I got the omen. All right, there's the spear. Okay, you roll two additional die when making a might roll. He's gonna need that because he's a weak old man. All right, haunt roll. We better not start yet. We need one or more. Okay. Okay. Let me see. And, um, sure you don't want to come upstairs? It seems to be where the little kill kids are. Kill kids? Kill kids, yeah. That's what it's probably gonna happen. Well, I'm going to stay down here then. Okay. Didn't shuffle very well. The abandoned room. All right, just an omen. Just, just, an omen. just the omen. The book. Diary or, diary or lab notes. Ancient script or modern ravings. Gain two knowledge. She probably needs it. She's the dumb one? No. She's not the dumb one, is she? No, she's six knowledge. Oh. She loses two, is she? Loses. Oh, add one more die. Just oh. 
Just be safe. Ugh. That's three. three. <laughs> What's the lowest we've started? At? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how the lowest has started. We've started fairly low before. Yeah. Okay, so flash, speed of six. One, two, I'll put a room here, I guess, three. Upper floor, the master bedroom with an omen. I don't think we get that master bedroom that often, not that it really matters. No. I mean, we don't really go upstairs that often either. Is it it's purely an upper floor? Yeah, it's only, only on the upper floor. Uh, okay, so he's got the omen, the crystal ball, uh, after the hunter is revealed. So I don't worry about it. Seems like we've never, this has large, search the, uh, search the, oh, well, you search items. I thought you searched mm. tiles. Okay, well, that's, that's plenty. That's plenty. Okay. Brandon. I just hope that'll go that one. Tower. Might roll three plus to cross. If you fail, stop losing. Yeah, I'm gonna think. Hideous Shriek. It starts like a whisper, but ends in a soul-rending shriek. Each is four must attempt a sanity roll. Each one? Yeah. This is Missy's. Okay. Ew. Take one die of mental damage. Mm. All right, here's the Professor. Three sanity. I got a three. Three, take one die. Mental damage? Yeah. Ugh. All right, I'll take it off of my knowledge. Okay. Landon. It's nothing but four plus. Oh, are we supposed to roll? Oh, I should have rolled five dice. Oh. So I had a three. I forgot we're, we're rolling our sanity trait, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so then I would have had five. Okay, yeah, that's plenty. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Or no, no, his was, no, it was right, sanity, duh. Okay. So I go down to, yeah, it was three. And so is Flash. Uh, fives. That's plenty. Okay. All right. Well, she just lost all her knowledge that she got from the book. Mm hmm So. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, we're gonna be in sorry shape, all of us. Okay, that was Brandon's turn? Yeah. So it's Professor? Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to do anything for the gallery. I can just move, that's just if I wanted to fall. Okay, move me one that way, I guess. All right, the attic, now I, now in exiting the attic, you must attempt a speed roll of three. Okay, so only when I leave, which I'll have to, because it's a dead end. Silence, underground, everything goes silent. Even the sound of breathing is gone. Each explorer in the basement must do a sanity. Nobody. All right. Missing. She's just gonna stay down here for now. I'm not. It's a collapsed room. I don't Need think you... five plus speed. I don't know if you fall anywhere, though. Yeah, she has plenty of speed. I think it's fall to the basement. Oh, that's true. You can, yeah. Ooh, um, you needed four. a five plus. If you fail, you draw a basement tile and put it into play. Uh, it just says a basement tile, so there's a basement style there, tile there. Oh, All right, yeah. so you're going to fall down here. To larder. You end your turn here, gain one might. And take a die of physical damage. Yeesh. Everybody's gonna be hurting here. Okay. All right. That was your character on the right? Yeah. Okay, so it's his so turn. She ended her turn and she gets a might back. Did you get an item? Oh, I didn't. So, yeah, technically you get an item. She got the armor. It's just a prop armor from a Renaissance fair, but it's still metal. I don't know anytime, if she's fit in it. <laughs> anytime you take physical damage, take one less point. Can't be okay. stolen. All right. 
Uh, okay, so... Well, you guys are all losers, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I have six, so I could have... Oops. All right, ground floor, statuary corridor, with an event, the shrieking wind, the wind picks up a slow crescendo to a screeching howl, each explorer in the gardens, which I don't think we have, uh, garden, gra graveyard, no, patio tower, or on the balcony, you're on the tower, yeah. all right, so you gotta roll, um, might, Three. three, three to four. The wind knocks you down. Take a die of physical damage. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting. Yeah, yeah, we're all getting pummeled before. At least we'll all be in the same situation. Okay. All well, right. If he's a traitor, then he's gonna mess yeah. you up. Okay. That was uh, Flash's turn. Okay. Yeah, he's a brain. One over here and I have to do my roll. Three plus. What was that? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You know, I don't think we have many upper floors left. Creaky hallway. Okay, go that one. Go one left or right, just. The junk room. Next day, you must attempt a might roll three plus. All right, there's your omen. Medallion. You are immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard. Okay, um, one, two, we need four or more. And five. five. Yeah. Three. yeah. All right. So, Professor, um, Attic, when I leave, three plus, lose a mite. Well, what is it? Three plus what, though? Speed roll. Um, speed four, maybe a three or more. <sighs> Barely. I can't afford to lose any more stuff. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm only at four. One, two, three, four. I'll come downstairs. Okay. Missy's turn over here. Uh, can only go that way. All right, we'll turn it. Uh, the catacombs. Sammy did roll six plus. Okay. All right. Uh, you can attempt a roll to cross. But you won't be crossing this time, so don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You just need an omen. Skull. A skull cracked and missing teeth. If you take a, if you take mental damage, you can take all of it as physical instead. Okay. All right. Five plus. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Flash. Here, ground floor. Yeah, dead end in the chapel. Once per game, if you end here, gain one sanity. So as long as I don't move, hmm. the groundskeeper. You turn to see a man in groundskeeper clothing. He raises a shovel and charges. Inches from your face, he disappears, leaving muddy footprints and nothing more. You attempt a knowledge roll. Is anybody in the garden? So we don't have. No. Okay, so some of you, if they're in the gardens, have to do the same. All right, and knowledge are all great. He's I have a done. man with a shovel in the chapel. I don't know. Whew, okay. Four plus, you find something in the mud to draw an item. Okay. So I draw an item, and then I end my turn. Mud in the chapel. Amulet of the Ages. Ancient silver inlaid with gems, inscribed with blessings, gain one might. Nice. One speed. Wow. 
So he's a seven speed. Um, and one sanity, okay. But I lose three of each if I lose the amulet. Yeesh. Okay, so what did I get here for staying? Uh, one sanity. Okay, so I did another sanity. All right. He's pretty buff now, except his knowledge is still poor. Sorry. All right, he's still dumb. Okay, go ahead. The research laboratory. Perfect. Disquieting sounds. A baby's cry lost and abandoned. A scream. The crack of breaking glass. Then silence. Little six dice. Um, if you roll equal to or more than the number of omens that have been revealed, you gain one sanity. If you're not, just one die. Okay. Five. More than yep, that. barely. You got six. Mm -hmm. Just one sanity. Okay. Your sanity. All right. Okay. All right, Professor, he's back down here. I need to move a little bit to get to a room to explore. That's the classroom. I don't want to fall. So four, one, two, three. Okay, I can get to here. Four, the ground floor. The charred room with another omen. The bite, oh. a growl, a scent of death, pain, darkness, gone. When you draw this card, something bites you. The player on your right rolls a might four against you for the mysterious something before it runs away into the darkness. You defend against attack as normal by rolling your dice equal to your might. Okay, I have a spear. You roll two additional dice when making a might. So, um, two, well, <laughs> makes it four. All right, two, three. Three. Okay, so nothing happens. And now I make a haunt roll. So we're up to six. Yeah. Should be close. That's two, four, six, seven. Nine, seven. It's not plenty. Well. Yes. Okay. All right. Misty's, Misty, whatever. So Let's if see. you're going to cross here, you need to do um, sanity roll of six or more. says to cross. I guess if you want to leave, I wouldn't count that as having to do that if you just wanted to go backwards. Well, she only has a sanity of three, so I'm not going to try. I'll just go two, three over there. Okay. Into the servants' quarters. An omen. Spear board. A board with letters and numbers to call the dead. Before you move during your turn, you can look at the top tile of the rune stack. If you use the spirit board after the haunt has been revealed, the traitor. Okay, let's put that out there. No, it's Missy's item. Oh, yeah. Alright, um, seven. That's no. it. Yeah. Okay. So, what, what was the item? Spirit board and the servants' quarters. Spirit board. Servants, there's a servants' quarters and the spirit board. Number eight it says the haunt revealer, so it'll be Missy. And the haunt number eight, Whale of the Banshee. That sounds really familiar. Yeah. Okay, we've done that one. Yeah. Okay, so what we do is if we come across one that we've done, we just play as if we made the haunt roll successful. And we just continue. Totally did not just roll a four. Yep, we rolled seven. Eight. Eight. So we just keep going. We just pretend that we, it's only happened once or twice, but we just pretend that we pass the haunt roll and keep going. Yeah. All right, so uh, Flash's turn. Yeah. So I have to backtrack quite a bit here. Um, you could seven. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Ground floor. That was a ground. Huh? When you just... Oh, oh well. All right, the patio. All right, we can scoot some of these off to the side. Patio with an event. The creepy crawlies, a thousand bugs spill out of your skin, under your clothes, and in your hair. You must attempt a sanity roll. 
which is five now. Uh, you blink and they're gone. Gain one sanity, nice. Make sure I go the right way because sometimes the numbers stay the same depending. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we still have a couple more haunt cards, so. Backtrack over to there. I know there's not probably not many upper floors there's left. Dusty hallway. Since doesn't draw anything, so. Yeah. Just... The balcony. All right, and that's a haunt. Yeah. All right. The girl. Uh, a girl trapped alone in the freezer. Gain one sanity and knowledge. Uh, lose one sanity and knowledge. Do you lose her? Can be dropped, traded, or stolen. And we could just go and decide that this is the haunt and just not even roll two. Mm. Mm. We need eight. Six, seven, eight. That was eight. Let's let's just go. Let's see if this works. So let's the girl in the girl in the balcony. In the balcony. Balcony with the girl is haunt sixteen. Left of the haunt revealer. So it's kind of like we if we're going in a circle. Some just flash. Yeah. Um, so what did I say, 16? Yeah. Okay, 16. It just means that that person doesn't have to have a specific eye. Sometimes it has to be a specific omen for the haunt. Yeah. It doesn't really matter too much. 16 is a phantom's embrace. Kind of familiar. Um... They thought they knew you, they thought whatever. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do the Phantom's Embrace. We'll go ahead and read our guides. So, to the left, who was next? Was it Flash? Yeah. All right, so we'll have Flash, since he was left of the Haunt Revealer, because we if you'd be sitting around the table, you'd kind of be going in clockwise or in that order anyways. So I'm gonna give her the Professor and his items. So she'll control all three of those characters as the heroes, and I will be the traitor. And we will get it set up, and stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching. Bye.